Number one. Number two. Three times two. Six plus four is ten. Divided by two is five, but then you have to square it and come up with twenty-five. Number three. Answer is twenty-five hundred. Number four. Answer is zero. Last one. Answer is six. That's a bonus. Pick a number from one to ten. Bring it up. The winning number today is... Seven. Homework check. Bring it up here to the desk when I call your name out. Come up in order. All right, bring up one through three. Negative two or negative one. The second one is not factorable. So if you had no solution, not factorable, none. And then negative seven, negative four. Bring up four through six. Negative nine or negative three. Negative 11 or negative two. Negative 11 or negative three. Bring up seven through nine. Negative 2 or negative 13, negative 2 or negative 7, negative 8, or negative 8, or if you just wrote negative 8 once, that's fine as well. Bring up 10 through 12. Negative 14 or negative 3, negative 6 or negative 5, negative 1 or negative 4. Bring up 13 through 15. Negative 18 or negative 2, negative 20 or negative 1. Negative 11 or negative 4. Any questions about the homework answers? The objective for today is to solve quadratic equations by factoring again, but today's learning target is different. The minus plus class of problems, the minus plus cases. Example number one x squared minus 7x plus 12 equals 0. So now you need two numbers that multiply to give you a positive 12, but they must add to give you a negative 7. The only situation where you can multiply two numbers to get a positive, but add them to get a negative, is to have two negatives multiplied together. So think about a 12 just by itself. Forget about the sign. What two numbers multiply to get 12 but add to get 7? 4 and 3, but they have to be negative 4 and negative 3 to add to give you the negative 7. So anytime it is minus plus, you're going to have two negative factors. And then after that point, you still do the same thing that we did yesterday, and that is to solve each of them after you set them equal to zero. So once you move minus four to the right you get a positive four and then minus three to the right you get a positive three. Example number two. I need two numbers that multiply to get positive 24 but they add to get negative 11. What two numbers are those? Negative 8, negative 3 will multiply to get positive 24 and add to get negative 11. So it should be x minus 11, x, not x minus 11, that's a x minus 8 and x minus 3. So when you solve each after setting them equal to 0, you'll come up with an 8 for x or it could be a 3 for X. Bring this one up and drop it off. For the practice problem, the two numbers are plus 2 and, or not plus 2, but minus 2, X minus 2 and X minus 1. Then when you solve for x by setting each equal to zero, you're going to come up with x equals two or x equals one. 
Bonus number one. For the bonus, the two numbers that multiply to give you three and add to give you negative four are negative three, negative one, but that translates into an answer of three or one. Another bonus. The two numbers are negative 10, negative 5 for the factors, but that translates into 10 or 5 for a final answer. Practice problem number 2. Solution on this should be x minus 12, x minus 4. And if you set each equal to 0, you'll come up with answers of 12 or Four. Another bonus problem. For the bonus, it's x minus 7 and x minus 2. If you set each equal to 0, you'll end up with a 7 or a 2. Another bonus problem. For the bonus, it is x minus 3, x minus 9. Set each equal to 0. Get an answer of 3 or 9. Speed problems. Here we go. Speed problems will be for the first, first 6. Number one, answer is two. Number two, answer is five. Answer is 36. Answer is 25. Answer is seven. Example number three. What two numbers multiply to get positive 30 but add to get negative 17? So it should be x minus 2 and x minus 15. And then, of course, that will dwindle down to answers of 2 or 15. Example four. What two numbers multiply to get 28 but add to get negative 16? Negative 2 and negative 14. And that will dwindle down to an answer of 2 or 14. Practice problem 3. On the practice problem, you should have 4 or 3. Answer should be 6 or 4. Answer is 3 or 5. Practice number 4. And for the practice, you should have 15 or 4. Should be 20 or 4. Bonus. 